Hey everybody, Jeff here from Outseta. This tutorial today is going to show you how you can build a membership site with just Outseta and TypeDream. If you haven't heard of TypeDream, it's a new no-code website builder that's really fast and easy to use. Uh, just launched on Product Hunt a couple of months ago, uh, but I'm going to demonstrate how you can integrate Outseta with your TypeDream site to run any sort of subscription or membership business. So first things first, uh, if you come over to outseta.com slash get started, you do need to create an Outseta account. Uh, once you have done that, we can log into Outseta and there's going to be a couple minor pieces of pre-work that you need to do. The first thing is you'll come over to billing and settings and connect your Outseta account to Stripe. So Stripe is the payment gateway that your uh, payments will, will flow through. Uh, but all other aspects of setting up your, your pricing, issuing refunds, financial reporting, all of that will happen in Outseta going forward. Once you've connected to Stripe, you can come over to Billing and Plans, and you just need to add a couple or, or just at least one membership plan. So I've already created uh, both a free membership and a $49 a month pro membership. Just click Add a Plan. Uh, you can enter monthly, quarterly, or annual rates. You could sell a one-time fee membership. Uh, but create at least one plan and you're ready to go. Now we can get to the process of integrating Outseta with TypeDream. So the next step is if you come to this auth tab and go to sign up and login, there's a couple settings on this page that are important to how you sign up and login users on your TypeDream site. The first is whether you want to use team mode or individual mode. Team mode allows multiple users to share a membership, whereas individual mode dictates that every user has their own membership. You're going to want to leave this send sign up confirmation email toggle on. That will send uh, new members an email that prompts them to set their password so that they can then log into your site and see the appropriate content. And you're going to want to set a post login URL. This is a page where users will land once they log in successfully. And in this case, I've set this to a URL that is protected content. So you need to have a particular membership level in order to access this content. Once those settings are in order, um, down here, the signup settings are just the information that you want to capture uh, from a new member at signup. But once you've configured these settings, you're, you're ready to go and start the integration process. Next, come over to Auth and Embeds. And you're just going to copy this quick start head script that you see here. Once you copy that, you can jump into TypeDream. Uh, you can either start from scratch, or I just used one of TypeDream's pre-built templates. But regardless of which path you pick, just come over here to Site Settings. And you're going to click on Code Injection. On this page, you're just going to drop that quick start embed script into the header of all your site pages and then click update settings. That's the only script that needs to be added to TypeDream to get all of Outseta's functionality to work. Once you've done that, you can go back uh, and start building out the content of your site. Uh, typically, there's going to be four buttons or links that you're going to want to have on your site if you're building a membership site. You need some sort of sign up button. You're going to need a login button so users can log into your site going forward. Likewise, a logout link or button. And this is optional, but I've added a link for my profile. This is going to be integrated with Outsider's profile embed, which allows users to maintain a profile of member information about themselves and also allows them uh, to control their, their membership. So they could upgrade, downgrade, or cancel if they wanted to. With those elements uh, already in this template, all I need to do now is go back into Outseta, and I can grab this sign up link, this login link, this profile link, and this logout link, and use these for those, those buttons that I just showed you. So I can literally just copy this sign up link. I go here to this sign up button. And I link this button uh, to that URL and click Save. So once you've done that, that's all you have to do. You now have a fully functioning uh, membership site. So just take these links that you see here, uh, you know, take the login link, do the exact same thing on your login button. And once you've made all those changes, just come up here and click Publish. Now I'm going to show you the experience as a new member 
uh, would experience it. So here we are on the live site uh, and you can see it's just a very sort of clean site. We've got buttons for login here and a sign up for a membership option down here. I'm gonna go ahead and sign up for this pro membership. Click checkout. Normally you'd be prompted to input credit card information here. You're not in this case uh, because I haven't connected to Stripe, but I'm gonna click sign up and pay. I get this automated message letting me know I should check my email. Um, that's how I'm gonna go ahead and set a password. So now I can close out of this, jump over to my email. That email is already in my inbox here. And I can just click confirm my account. This will bring me to a page where I set my password. And as soon as I set my password, I'm successfully logged into the site. And in this case, I'm redirected to a page of members only content because that's where I've told uh, Outsetter to send me. Uh, and I just purchased the appropriate membership level. So that's how the protected content features work in the context of building a membership site with Outsetta and Type Dream. You can also see on this page uh, a link to my profile and logout appeared. So Outsetta knows that I've now logged into the site, so this logout link will reveal itself and allow me to log out should I want to. Or I can click on my profile and edit information about myself as an individual. Um, if I'm using a, a team-based membership, I could invite new team members, and I can also upgrade, downgrade, or cancel uh, my subscription. So now I'll go ahead and log out, and you'll see that the site will adjust itself. It will hide that logout link. It will hide that uh, my profile link, and just show the login link and the sign up for membership link that are appropriate in a signed out state. So that's all it takes to build a membership site with Outsetta and Type Dream. If you have any questions on this at all, please reach out to us at support at Thanks so much.